Hi, it's Eric with Ted Out Here. Today I wanted to talk to you about grips uh, in the What's New series for AbbeyCAD 2022. So before we get started, let's go into Drawing Settings, DS, and then choose Display, and then choose Grips. And this is where your settings are for that. And uh, you can turn off grips here. Uh, we got block grips and group grips. Then you can select different um, options. I've got advanced grips turned on. Then I also have a few options turned on here. So you can um, customize it how you want. You can also change the color. Uh, in this example, I don't have the grips for solids turned on. I find that works better with the group grips. And uh, MetQ um, actually works well with group grips. Uh, but you have to be careful because when you do stretch something, an entity, and you're using bill materials, it will not carry over to your schedule. So I kind of recommend not using that if you're using bill materials. But if you're you're just doing drawings, uh, they're great for stretching and manipulating uh, MetQ objects as well. So I have three drawings here. The first one is a line, uh, and you can see as I click on it. I have a few new options here. This is a rotate command, which allows you to rotate right away. And then I have the arrow, which shows me, dynamically shows me the uh, dimension of that line. Uh, this is a move icon here, which allows you to just move it just by clicking on it. As well, uh, keep in mind that by clicking on the grip, you can still cycle through the different commands. Like here, I'm in my move command, and then if I press my space bar, I can get into the rotation and the scale of the line, uh, and then back to uh, my stretch functionality. Here's another example of a MetQ 2D pipe. So here, again, if I click on the line, and then click on the endpoint, I can see the length of that pipe. Really quick way of doing that without having to measure or do a distance command or a list command, for example. You'll notice here there's a center line uh, in the middle here. If I move that, let's say, to the end and then rotate the object, it's actually rotating from that endpoint. So that's a kind of a quick way of doing a rotate command so you have to be careful to select it by crossing first that way you get the um, the center line to go with it the real advantage to grips is you're getting things done visually versus using multiple menus and commands let me go ahead and undo that let's look at a 3d example down here uh, I'm gonna go into my southwest isometric view and let's look at this piece here Again, if I high load over the arrows, I get here, in this case, I get the diameter of that pipe. If I highlight over this arrow here, I get the length. The one thing that I should mention is I've created this MetQ pipe uh, using the Minimize 3D database option. You'll find this in the uh, CFG options in the main menu. Uh, and this is going to allow me to stretch the pipe and, and manipulate it that way. Otherwise, uh, if it's a hollowed out pipe, you would only be able to move it. Let's click on this. Let's just move it using this uh, square grip. Move it down uh, one foot. And then we'll take this arrow and we'll stretch it down that one foot. So we'll get our three foot six pipe. So that's an intro to the new grip functionality inside AbbeyCAD 2022. Stay tuned for more videos about the features you'll find inside Abbeycad 2022. And have a great day. Bye.